two, three. <laughs> Here we go. What are we doing today? We're making green chicken chili. Green chicken chili. Yeah. Now, how do you make that? What 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 is in green chicken chili? Chicken. Chicken. Grilled chicken. Yeah. Um, well, you're gonna use about a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast, um, cubed up in about that size. That size. About that size. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, you're gonna take two onions. Use yellow onions, white onions, doesn't matter, whatever you have in your pantry. Whole, like whole onions. Whole onions. Well, you're going to leave them whole. You're going to chop them up, obviously. Okay. So, dice them up. How small do you dice them? Um, as small as you can get them. Um, no, you don't want to mince them like a minced garlic, but you mm -hmm. want to get them like into a smaller size so it like, integrates well with the soup. Okay. Um, so, let me start, start to finish and I'll kind of give you the ingredients offline. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take the chicken... Throw it in the pot, brown it, um, and you can season it with a little bit of salt and pepper as you're doing it because it just tastes better. You browned them in this pot. Um, I browned them in this pot. I've also done it in like a regular, I put it in my pots that don't exist, but a normal pot. Um, this is a cast iron, um, what are these called then? Dutch oven. Dutch oven, thank you. <laughs> um, so throw a little bit of oil in there. You know, just enough to like put a little bit on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Throw the chicken in there. Brown up the chicken so the chicken gets all the way cooked through. Then you're going to take your two onions that you've diced up, throw them in there, toss them for probably about three to five minutes. Um, this is all on about a medium heat. You don't want it too high because it'll scorch the pan. Okay. Um, and then, this is cheating. Uh, this is garlic. You can buy this at Kroger or most grocery stores, but you can also use a whole head of regular garlic. There's a lot of garlic in this. So the recipe is you either put a whole head of garlic in or you take one of these and you put a really big squeeze. You literally go <laughs> squeeze into it. So on the recipe you'll see, Bob, I put one head of garlic or one large squirt of the tube. That's the tube. Okay. Um, cumin, you're going to put two full teaspoon, tablespoons, I'm sorry, of cumin. Um, you're going to take a bunch of cilantro you just buy at the store. You're going to throw it, chop off the stems, and then the leaves you're going to mince up into really, really small because it's going to get integrated in there. So mm -hmm. when I mean minced, I mean like chop it up really small. So you mean it gets caramelized? Not caramelized. Um, you see like all the little leaves in here, like the little green leaves? That's all your cilantro. Oh, oh okay. Um, and then aside from that, so those are your primarily your fresh ingredients, and then you cheat with the rest. So you get um, a small can of diced jalapeno. If you like it spicier, you can always put more in. A slightly larger can of, and I have the ounces on here, of the green chili peppers. Okay. Okay. Um, and they just kind of add like a fresh peppery taste. These are not spicy at all. Okay. Um, I use two different kinds of beans in it. Mm -hmm. I use a cannellini, which is a white kidney bean. I also use a great northern bean, just texturally. I like the variation. Um, in this batch, we end up using one can of cannellini and two of great northern. And it's all a look thing. If it's too runny, then you throw another can of beans in. If it's not, you know, if it's um, too chunky, throw a little more stock in. So it's just more of a consistency to what makes sense. Here's the secret, recipe, secret ingredient for the recipe. Um, it doesn't have to be this brand, but salsa verde because it gives it the whole green tomatillo garlicky spice. Um, this is really what makes the chili good. Um, and then just chicken stock. Like I said, I put some in so it gets the right consistency and then as it evaporates, you put more in. If there's too much, you let it cook off a little bit. It's just it's how you like it. Do you like a runnier chili or do you like a thicker chili? That's it. And literally, that's it. And you can throw it on low, cook it for a couple of hours, so it gets like... A couple hours? Like two hours on low, yeah. Now, so, how many servings is this, would you say? That? Uh, that'd be a good, probably eight to ten servings. And then our favorite way to eat it is on top of corn chips with cheddar cheese and sour cream. Corn chips with cheddar cheese and sour cream. Yeah. You just throw these in the bottom of a bowl. You throw the chili on top, cheese and sour cream. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much.